and joining us live by telephone is political analyst Bolaon Lojede. Thank you, Bolaon, for joining us. Yeah, good morning. Now, the MBS, the National Bureau of Statistics, said that inflation rose by 12.2% in February and that this was the highest recorded in 21 years. Let's put this in perspective, shall we? Was it not recently that we also read that Nigeria was recording a 2.27% rise in GDP? Can you please help us balance the books? Uh, well, I, I think that would be more of the highest in 21 months, not in 21 years. Um, all the same is, 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 is expected for two main reasons. Number one is the fact that we still have food inflation. There is an adjustment period uh, if we're cutting over from food importation to internal production. So the closure of borders since August has an impact on food inflation. And food inflation is, a, is an important component of the general inflation that we have. Then we also have the implementation of the new VAT regime. So this, the, the new VAT regime incre increased the uh, VAT from 5% to 7.5%. That is also meant to have an implication for uh, uh, general uh, price levels in the economy. I also do not see this uh, receding uh, very soon uh, unless we make certain adjustments. One of it, for example, is look at the fact that when oil price was 70, PMS was 145 Naira. When it was 60, PMS was 145 Naira. It is 50, 145 Naira. It is now 30 or 30 something, PMS is still 145 Naira. So the natural adjustments that will help with our price levels have been capped with, with Armstrong gauge. So it's unable to. Uh, translate into lower fuel price and lower transportation costs and, and even manufacturing costs uh, uh, in, in, in our environment. So those, those are some of the problems. Now, now that you did mention that, Donald, many people in the society have argued the fact that it should translate to a lower fuel pump price. And why do you think that is in the case? It's not the case because we have not made up our mind that we should remove subsidy. So that subsidy regime, uh, which had been in place when it was 145, we just kept it pegged at 145. It's an artificial price. 145 doesn't exist in the books in reality. And now is the right time that oil price, see, the, the, the price of crude is the most important cost input into determining what is the final output cost of PMS. And if that singular uh, uh, determinant has crashed from 70 all the way to 30, what is the basis for retaining PMS price at 145 Naira? It should automatically go down so that the transport cost and all other ancillary things that are associated with it can go down. All right, quick, quickly, um, well, uh, th there was a distinction between the, the urban and rural inflation. Please, can, can you clarify the distinction for us? as well as explain the basis for calculating inflation in the first place, in, in layman's term? Uh, well, in, I, I think uh, that's, that's the right word. In layman's time, term, the rural inflation is a reflection of what the people who live in the rural areas spend their money on. And it is slightly different from the way uh, and the things that take money away in the, in, the, in the urban areas. For example, in the urban area, if you live in Lagos, Rent is an important cost. Meanwhile, if I live in uh, some minor villages, I don't, I don't, I'm not worried about rent. In fact, I can get a free house to live in. So this, are, this reflects in the, in the combination, in the basket, in the rural area as opposed to the urban area. That's why you, have, you can have slightly different uh, uh, inflation rates in the rural area as opposed to the uh, 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 urban areas. Uh, let, let's, let's, let's deal with comparisons right here. How, how do our inflation figures compare with the rest of the world? Um, well, I think it is a bit on the high side. Because, and the problem with that is that um, it discourages saving. By the time you have inflation at 12% or 12.2%, and uh, when you invest that same money, you are going to get less than that. Because people don't want to invest. 
that, 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 I think that is the biggest uh, 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 fact. Well, ec some economists have also argued that a mild inflation is not exactly bad for the economy because it makes people consume. There, there's something called the, the, the threat of consumption, which means that if people expect that inflation rates are going to be going down and going down and going down, then they will delay consumption. When they delay consumption, it has a negative impact on the economy. But when people consume, because they are even scared that it might go further up, you know, theoretically it is believed that it could be of hell. But, uh, uh, it, but, so yeah. that, that one is kind of head or there. But I think we need to curtail inflation because there are several issues that are surrounding it. And I'm also particularly worried about the fact that for 21 months, uh, we, we seem to be having uh, uh, the highest in the last month. Uh, well, no, interesting, you month. did say, you did say while speaking, we should curtail inflation. So what can be done to put yes. in place mitigating factors such as that when the dust settles, we're able to compensate for our loss today? Yes, uh, some of it is what I've just mentioned, the fact that some natural control in the system should be allowed to work. So if oil prices are cut from 70 to 30, let the people enjoy that price crack in the what they pay for PMS. Then there are some interventions. Well, I think the CBN has already started that, um, like we see all across the world anyway. Uh, some intervention from the government to ensure that interest rates will not further go up, to ensure that small and medium scale businesses will not die by, by you know, putting certain uh, uh, information or spending in certain areas. Those are some of the things that will help us to lower uh, the, the interest rate. I mean, to lower the inflation rate, or to moderate it, actually. All right. Roland Lodger, the economist and political analyst, thank you for joining us on the news and for your insightful contribution. Thank you.